guys, Rome Reviews here. Please like, comment, subscribe. Yes, if you didn't already know, this video wasn't up sooner because my power went out due to the thunderstorm that hit the East Coast uh, Tuesday. So I had power, I didn't have power for two days. It's back, thank the Lord. So this is my review for Empire, season four, episode 17, Bloody Noses and Choked Crowns, and Cracked Crowns. The episode actually starts off, oof, it starts off with Tiana. It starts off with Tiana, she's essentially doing this mini song and dance, this jig and shuck for the, um, for the board. And Eddie's there getting his entire life. Ed, Eddie's shaking, he's, he's gyrating, he's the ultimate hype man. Hey, hey, I'm thinking Eddie, that song isn't doing all of that. But of course he loves it because the song is all about uh, thanking the person who has your back, who's essentially your day one, doing all of this. And that's Tiana showing th and throwing herself and her full support towards Eddie, as far as his board's concerned. Lucius and Cookie are over it, and Nika's in the meeting too, because now she's a part of the whole fray. Lucius is over it, but the board doesn't care. And this is the main issue. The board doesn't care, so the board reinstates Eddie as essentially uh, a consultant, an advisory consultant. So that that role has a lot of power when we're talking about the head honchos and the co uh, corporation. And that's what drives this it's not an argument per se, but it's this little squabble with Cookie and Lucius. I think Andre was originally there trying to say some stuff, but Lucius doesn't want to hear anything from Andre right now. Even though Andre keeps trying to do stuff, Lucius, he is the king of putting stuff on other people instead of taking at least some partial ownership. Uh, and that's what's happening here. That's the main thing that's happening here. Thirsty's in the meeting. Thirsty gets to stay because Thirsty doesn't do anything, you know, except for do exactly what Lucius and Cookie tells him to do. So Thirsty does his job, but so does Andre, and that's what irks me. The main point that Cookie wants to drive is that, first of all, leave Andre alone. Second, <laughs> why, why are we even doing this? Doing what? What's the point of bringing Empire public in? The moment they strove to do that was when I started to side-eye the show. That's when I really started to side-eye the show in the direction that it was going in. And because from that moment on, this family lost its power. They had to appease everyone else, especially this black business, had to appease everyone else that did look like them, that didn't think like them, that didn't sound like them. And that's when I felt like things went, just, things just went out of control. Um, And Lucius... He feels a certain way because he's trying to think, why would we take the company private again? Like, that's what Cookie wants to do. Lucius is thinking about all the sacrifices that were made in order to bring the company here. I'm thinking, no, you're looking at it from the wrong perspective. And then that's when he has this flashback of all the things that have transpired. Because Cookie said, okay, we'll... we'll I don't see any other way, but I'll figure out something. And it just goes when he was working on his music and Cookie was there supporting her man, uh, even in jail, still supporting him, still supporting her family. And that's when Lucius finally has that breakthrough of Cookie is right, but she's right for real. Empire was for the family. Empire was what we wanted, what we we're attaining to why are we allowing all these vultures in to come and take it from us and now they have to devise a plan to take empire back that's when things get really 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 truly interesting because it's not an easy feat it's not and okay for everything else that happens in this video i apologize for anything that i miss Put it in the comment box below, in the comments below, uh, because I didn't have, I didn't get to record it originally. I have this version where you can't fast forward, so I know I'm going to miss a bunch of stuff. I know it. I know it. I know it. Uh, but one of the things that's going to happen is that now they have to learn 
what's Eddie's motives? Like, how can we do this? Because the Patelli guy, he's the one that's coming in with the money and they realize that they need an in. The person that's going to be the in for them is Andre. Andre is going to go, to, he'll go and pledge his allegiance, pledge his loyalty, oh, sorry, excuse me, to Eddie, to Uncle Eddie, I should say. And Uncle Eddie, he loves it. He loves it because he, he doesn't like Lucian, Lucius. He doesn't like Lucius. He really doesn't. And he just cares about self. So anyone who doesn't like Lucius, it's his friend. It's his compadre. Or at least that's what he wants you to, to believe. Anika, on, on the other hand, is looking at Andre like, you're really willing to work with... No, no, no. Forget Eddie. Me? Oh, trust me, Anika. We didn't forget. We didn't forget. And it looks like the show is finally going to do some justice for Ronda. Look, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be mad if someone else died in the season finale. I'd be perfectly, perfectly fine with that. Perfectly fine with that. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? But Eddie, he essentially believes it. He essentially says, why not? Let's give him a shot type of thing. Because Andre is willing to go in front of the press and say that he's for the company being bought for the company being bought especially by this guy and they do a whole you know shuck and jive as far as cookie and lucius looking at andre like how could he do this to us play feeding into that now we're gonna go back a little bit because part of this episode also has to do with the availing of anonymous anonymous is the group that Jamal started with a bunch of other independent artists and Tori Ash. And originally their whole mantra is, we don't want, why, why would we want to go and become something bigger than what this is? This is perfect the way it is. The whole point of us doing this was to make sure that we didn't lose ourselves, to make sure that uh, we get taken advantage of and Tori's really really trying to make sure that look dude It's all about the music. It's all about the music. I'm thinking that's cute and all but did you stop using them, those drugs? Did you stop using those pills? Congratulations. You're not snorting anything anymore But you're doing all of this and, I, and I'm thinking so Jamal are you gonna go and get your girl some help? Are you gonna go and get your girl some help? Are you gonna go and do that? All right, all right uh, On to some other generic foolishness Hakeem he, he's with Cassie. I don't care what her name is on the show. That's Cassie. So he's with Cassie. I'm thinking, you, you, Hakeem, you evil bastard. It's not fair. It's not fair. I don't care. It's not fair. It's not fair. But his phone rings and his alarm, his alarm, his ringtone, it's Tiana. Pretty big shoes fit. <laughs> Guys, he's looking at him like, really, dude? Really? But his text messages actually came from Blake. Blake's been hitting him up because, as we know, Blake, he really feels bad that things went left due to the fact that he wasn't honest about his, um, his alt-right father's views. Um, Actually, in the common area, we see Anika and Eddie and Cookie and Lucius. They have a little stalemate. And it's that whole Cookie was funny. She was like, oh, so you found some new man to go go and be up on there. Oh, okay. I see you. Boo. Do what you got to do. <laughs> Cookie is so petty. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, the main issue, though, is... Lucius thought, oh, he can go and ask his old friend to front them the money because so that they can go and buy back Empire. Essentially, they're going to go sell whatever they need to sell so that they can keep Empire. That is the main crown jewel. So that's the plan that they have. The problem is, Eddie also knows that guy. And Eddie told him that Patelli scared him off. Once the guy realized he had to go up against who? Oh, no, 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 no. That, that's not happening today. No, sorry, Bob. No, it's not. No, it's not. And Lucius wants to go and put hands on Eddie. I'm thinking, Lucius, don't do it. 
only don't do it because this will go and mess up your image. That's the only reason. Only. Trust me when I say it is the only reason. Eddie is garbage. He is trash. So as I said, Andre, he devised his plan of he'll go, fall on the sword, pretend to be Eddie's compadre, and it appears to be working. It appears to be working because Andre goes and he finds the paperwork that finds what Eddie's number is. Because uh, in a, pr a previous meeting with Lucius and Cookie, he realized that Eddie has a number that um, Patelli gave him. And so if we're able to go and raise that amount, we'll be able to cancel out what Patel is going to do and we'll be fine. <laughs> the note, the, the paper. Okay. Let me show you something. Pretend this is the paper. The paper was right on the table. Right on the table. There may, there may have been one thing covering it, but it was right there. Andre finds it, takes a picture of it, sends it to Cookie and Lucius, and now they have to devise a plan. They're going to use, that's why Andre is such a, he comes up with all the stuff on the fly. That's the man special in the best way possible. In the best way possible, but he just needs a better family. It's not even his mental illness. It's his, he's a better family. Uh, and Andre realizes, why don't we go and stream? Uh, actually, it's not Andre. It's Cookie and Lucius. Because $650 million, they, in their heads, they said, oh, we're like 60 million short, 70 million short. And they started calling the phone. They called Barack. I mean, Michelle. Michelle Obama. They, they were calling Oprah. Oprah gave them a certain amount. Michelle Barack gave them a certain amount. You know, black. Keep this black. Black, 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 black. That, that was their mantra. And I felt it. So they were calling everyone they needed to call, but they were still were down around 70, like 50, 70 million. Cookie had a flashback and realized we're handling this the wrong way. We have to hit them at an angle that they can't foresee. So that's when she brings up the idea of why don't we do a block party? Well, our version of a block party. And that's when Andre comes in. We'll use empire uh you know extreme the streaming service to do this show and it's essentially people can donate whatever amount they want and the goal will be on the screen we need essentially like 50 let's say at the time we need essentially 50 million dollars um uh we and once we get that then they can go and take empire back eddie Understands that the Lions aren't going to take this lying down. <laughs> lying down. Which means that he has to devise... Oh, I forgot to charge this. He has to devise a plan to ensure that the Lions don't win. The problem with all of this is that he needs help. But he has his good old trusty handy dandy, Giselle. Giselle's going to go and pull out a miracle. What miracle, you ask? You'll have to wait and find out. Oh. Part of what made all of this difficult was the fact that Patel actually... Um, ins uh, my whole thing is, it almost sounds like insider trading. So why couldn't we just call it that, insider trading? N well, I guess not. Whatever. I'm sure he'll find a way to wiggle out of it. But Empire stock st skyrocketed because a buyout was about to happen. So he was going to different shareholders doing everything he could and as i said that's when andre went and talked to him andre thought he had the information um, and they devise a plan they devise a plan they're executing it giselle's going to be the linchpin in all of this and it's funny because i guess i'll just jump ahead because i can't remember anything else right now um uh, uh Hakeem. And I want to talk about Hakeem for a moment. Hakeem actually performed with Cassie at the Empire Extreme. Yeah. The Empire Extreme uh, raised, raised us some money fund. And Cassie has a boyfriend. Obviously Diddy. 
She has a boyfriend. Hakeem thought that this was going to be something bigger because Cassie actually sung Tiana's song, Really Big Shoes to Fill. I said, Hakeem, this is petty, and she's doing this just to get fame. I could see it right away. She just wanted to boost her profile. She said, I have to go back and be with my boyfriend. Hakeem thought he was running game on her. No, she ran game on him, and I respect that. I respect that. That intrigued me. It truly did. It truly did. Uh, what else at the Empire Extreme event? Oh, before that, Lucius had a conversation with Jamal. He did that because they needed something spectacular to announce. And, of course, Lucius knows what Jamal is doing. He knows it. He's not dumb. He realizes that this group is his... Uh, well, a lot of people do. But he goes and talks to Jamal about... We need Anonymous to go and perform. We need something that will shock people. Something that will come out of nowhere. We need Anonymous. The issue is that Jamal promised his group that we're going to, we won't conform to mainstream narratives. We won't follow the traditional path. We'll keep it anonymous so that it stays, uh, you know, so that it stays just being about the music. The weird thing to me in all of this is that it was the, the conversation got really, got truly weird. Because on one hand, Jamal's looking at this like, I've constantly sacrificed for this family. I will perform at this showcase for this family. Lucius trying to call him disloyal. I'm thinking, Lucius, that's a child you threw away in the dumpster. I, I mean, in the trash can. You threw him away in the trash can, and yet he still wants to be a daddy's boy so bad. That's Hakeem. That's not Jamal. <sighs> Hakeem is a baby, so he didn't have to try. He's actually kind of the most like Lucius almost, aside from the I'll kill anyone type of thing. It's, it's interesting. But I, I thought that was funny to me. That was very funny to me. Lucius really trying to play that blame game, that guilt trip, when of all people, Lucius has been disloyal to his family. Lucius, Lucius, truly Lucius. I don't care anyone says, truly Lucius. Once we got from that and that whole debacle, excuse me, at the Empire Extreme event, things were going. Things are going well. And I liked their speech. And you know how Empire has done it as far as whenever they're streaming live, they actually show random people looking at them on their devices. I like that concept. But Cookie and Lucius essentially said, hey, Eddie, Eddie Barker is trash. Eddie Barker is a threat. He's trying to take the Empire from us. He's trying to work. He is an Uncle Tom. He's a coon. And he wants to go and uh, you know consort with Thine enemy to take this black company with him. And it's not right. It's not right. It's not fair. Primarily because why do we have to go and um, change? We're supposed to be the game makers. I went and did this, created this company, did this music, not just to make a way for myself and my family, but also to show other people like me, like you, this is the combination of Cookie and Lucia's uh, speech, that anything is possible. Because I didn't see people like me in a suit doing this, doing that, doing that, doing that. I, and I wanted to change that. I said, oh, you know that's going to get us. You know any type of speech like that is going to get us. Speaking of that, what did I, I, I just forgot something it was something important to this whole conversation about it being about us and pro us and so while they're doing that speech the number is going up when Akeem performs the number goes up Jamal of course comes through and he asks his group can they do it at first they're thinking wait a minute but you just said but then but then I'm sure in the back of their mind they're thinking oh you know how much money we'll make off of this no matter how artsy farsy they are, they're still hungry. They're still human. They still need to eat. They agreed to it. Great. Except for Tori. Tori was pissed because she's thinking, really? You went and consorted with your father and you 
you always go and let him win. Whatever he wants, you eventually give it to him. I'm thinking, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. It's just in this case, this is about the Empire. This isn't just about Lucius. So I need for you to stop talking over there and let Jamal come over here and help out. So this group goes out. I actually like the song. I like the song and I liked the vibe. It felt authentic. Can I say that? Yeah, it felt authentic. And it was all good. The numbers were the, the numbers were going. The numbers were going. The numbers were going. I want to make sure that I input this as well because this part was very important. Andre was told, that, "Hey, I made sure to show you that 650 million number so that you would know that that was a lie. That was inaccurate. It's actually 700 million. Yes, an extra 50 million. So at the rate that they were going, it wasn't going to work. And they gave Andre an option because Eddie really believes in Andre. And he even told Patelli to go and do this deal where buy Empire, make Andre the the chief the CFO chief financial officer of uh Patel's major corporation and Andre went into that bathroom and he had the sweats he had the sweats like okay get it together oh my gosh this is exactly why I want the finally someone give me some. I deserve I deserve I deserve I felt like Andre was going through it do I de de betray the family do I I'm thinking Andre come on Andre has always just won full acceptance from his family not, and it's not just Lucius. So Andre, after thinking about it, he goes into the server room. He tells the guy, take five, go. The guy takes five and Andre turns off Empire Extreme. I'm thinking, you did not just go and do that. And I'm thinking, no, there, there has to be a reason. There has to be a reason. Empire Extreme goes down. He goes and tells Cookie and Lucius what he did. They're looking at him like, why would you do that? I'm looking at him like... Okay, there's a plot line here. Let me wait for it. You had to shut down for some reason. Give them a false hope. Well, uh, you know, the enemy. And that's when he tells them, hey, I did that because right now there's a paywall. And they said, what? I, essentially what he was saying, just to clear it up. Empire Extreme is a paid service. It's kind of like a title, kind of like an Apple Music. Spotify has two tiers, a free with ads and then a paid service. Empire Extreme was getting money from the people that were already paying. When he took it down and then it got relaunched in 15 minutes, that was the paywall didn't exist. So everyone who had an internet connection could go on to Empire Extreme and donate that is huge because andre thought of that on the sly did that and jamal performed with anonymous and even tori got together and came out and performed with them because once tori came out i said okay we're gonna need someone white to go and help out uh, this little too black in this thing and it's just, uh, representation representation i hear you i hear you okay i got it i got it they exceeded they exceeded Performs to stop. That's it. We were all proud. We were like, yes, Empire's finally going private again. Oh, we can kick all these people out. Oh, season five can season five can start over. It can start over. There's hope. There's hope. And here we go. Eddie gets a call from Giselle. I have a plan. I have a plan. Mind you, Eddie and Giselle actually made out. I'm thinking Eddie is such a master manipulator, especially over women. He knows exactly what he's doing. And I'm just looking at him like, what? Really? So then, Cookie and Lucius are celebrating at home. And they gave this these speeches to each other. How Lucius is saying how much he loves Cookie. And how she appreciates her and everything that she did. And he, she always came through when he needed and even when he didn't realize he needed it. And Cookie said she respects what he did for this company and for her boys. He raised them, regardless of how they turned out, he still had to raise them and deal with all of that. So they finally acknowledged the main points that they 
had issues with each other um, originally. Oh, excuse me. And I liked that. And I appreciate that because that is what we needed. That is finally. And before I do all that, Blake. Blake, the white rapper, uh, he went on TV because his alt-right father was talking about how his son was influenced by those nerds. That's essentially what he wanted to say. He said everything except for saying that word. Blake went out there, said, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, 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 yeah mic me up, whatever. This dude, I didn't see him for so-and-so amount of years. And so he finally came back into my life and wanted me to go and take this picture and raise my hand like that. And I was ignorant at the time. I didn't know, what, I didn't, honestly didn't know what I was doing, but I did it because my father, who's finally shown me attention, told me to do it. So I did it. But then he took me to this weird rally, a clan rally. Took me to this real weird rally and they were doing stuff. And so I got freaked out. I went home and told my mom and I never saw this guy again until that picture popped up. So he's just like, you're trash, I hate you. I said, oh, 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 okay. Cause he was like, you're trash, I hate you. Ah. I'm thinking, oh. Like I'm not scared, but this is interesting. I don't know. A fight, as Alexander Rogers would say, a skirmish. <laughs> but Lucius told him, bring bring him here. Bring him. Bring him. So Blake actually ended up coming to the Empire Extreme event. And Hakeem was the one that brought him in and apologized. And Blake was like, no, it's all good. And they performed. It, it was nice. It was nice. Everyone coming together. And of course, that brought in eyes. Lucius, that was a smart move. Because Lucius is about taking risks. Well, he was. So I'm glad that that started to come back again. Because even Jamal told him, Hey, you kind of switched up your MO. It used to be about the music. It used to be about the artistry. Not about just this company and the numbers. And he said, Um, hello, I'm doing whatever I need to do. Because I remember the days when it was about the music. And I focused on the music instead of making sure that you had, um, you know, food in your stomachs. And make sure that you didn't go to sleep hungry. I said, Oh. Some some human emotion from Lucius? But but aside from that, we get to the end. Cookie and Lucius, they see Giselle and Eddie come to the house. They're just like, well, time for you to back up. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Until, remember that ascot scarf thing that Lucius took off and put it on Shine after Shine got shot and killed. Well, Giselle went and paid off some of, well, Kokoff paid off some of Lucius's henchmen. Cookie said, mm, I'm sure your legs did, your wide open legs did part of the payments. Cookie, Cookie, stop. Cookie, stop. Stop, Cookie, stop. The important part is she was able to get that. And now... Lucius is forced to either go and admit, stop this foolishness, let the company be bought, or go to jail. I said, Lucius is going to jail. He's going back to jail. He's going back to jail, and I'm here for it. Eddie, you're going to be shot and killed. Giselle, you're going to be shot and killed. Anika, you're going to be shot and killed by Ron's ghost. I'm here for all of it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Come back next week.